Good day everyone and welcome to Slosh Mining. Hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Today we're going to go over how to mine Ethereum with NB Miner. Currently I am using NB Miner to mine with AMD and Nvidia cards. The nice thing about NB Miner is the simplicity of the software. The reason I chose NB Miner over Phoenix Miner is the information that the miner actually provides. We will be covering some of the issues that users have with downloading the software, including blocking of the miners as a virus. First things first, we need to download the MB Miner software. The latest version is 36.1. I will leave the link in the description below. The file that we will be downloading is win.zip. And we will be using the NB Miner software on Windows 10. Let's start off by downloading the latest version of NB Miner for Windows. Please note that you will get a blocked by Chrome message. All you have to do is click on Show All, Keep File, wait for it to complete downloading. If you do receive this specific message to say that it failed, virus detected, all you have to do is the following. In the bottom right hand corner, select the arrow pointing upwards, select the little shield icon, select virus and threats, click on protection history, and you'll see that threat found if you click on the arrow down below. You'll notice that the file that you're downloading, NB Miner 36.1, will be there. All you do is click on Action, click on Allow on Device. Make sure that we've selected all of them. If there is more than one, NB Miner, yes, already selected that. And then we can try and download the file again. We're going to click on Show in Folder. Deleted. So let's click on the file again to be downloaded. Keep dangerous file. Keep. Click on show in folder. Right click on the file that we just downloaded. Extract all. Just make sure that any file that is associated with NB Miner is either either allowed on device or restored. And I think quite a few people have been getting this issue where the file is actually removed. So once everything has been allowed on the device and unblocked, go back to your folder double click on the folder and you've got your bat files with your NB Miner software. Now the file that we will be using is start underscore ETH. If we right click on that file and edit, this is your batch file that will be run. So this is our bat file that we will be using. We're going to edit this file and we're going to be using ethermine.org as the pool and we need to change the address to your ethereum address dot your worker name just to go over that again you've got your pool and port you've got your ethereum address and then you've got your worker name and those are the only settings that you change so we will be using ethermine.org as the pool. I've changed my Ethereum address and I've given my mining rig a name. And the folder I have left in the downloads folder, you could put it in a separate folder under miners, under C drive, that's up to you. But I'm going to leave my NB miner folder under the downloads folder. What you can also do is put a shortcut to the desktop. All you do is right click on that file. 
sync to desktop as shortcut and here we go our shortcut to the desktop so just to make sure that it is this file all you do is hover over that file and you'll see that it does say downloads in B minor right click on the file click on edit and there we go ethermine.org your ethereum address and mining server too double click on the file and your mining software will run so this software is really good for AMD and NVIDIA cards in one machine. It picks up both cards and the information that it shows is quite useful as well. It's busy building the DAG file for the server with all the cards. You can see the four cards, AMD and NVIDIA cards in this rig. It gives you the power consumption, your temps, your fan speeds, your clock rate, and your memory clock. The nice thing about it is as well, it gives you the efficiency of each card, which is great. It gives you the hash rate. It will show you the accepted shares. And at the moment, these four cards are generating about 155 mega hash per second. And it's now mining Ethereum. To monitor your mining performance, all we need to do is go to the pool, which is ethermine.org. Go to the home page, and where it says mining address, all you do is click there and paste your Ethereum address right there. And that will bring up your mining performance. Your current hash rate, your average hash rate, and your reported hash rate. And then it will also give you your estimated earnings per day. If you click on ETH, you can change it to BTC and USD. And then it will also give you your unpaid balance once you've found shares. Further down, it should give you your mining rigs that you've got on this specific Ethereum address on Ethermine. Under payouts, you'll see every payout that is done to your Ethereum wallet. So you should be able to find all your information on ethermine.org regarding your server. Hope everyone found this guide informative and insightful. Please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video. Ciao for now.